morning. It is a nice chilly but sunny day right now and uh, today is Tuesday, the Tuesday after Easter Sunday and just thinking about how this week is gonna go. I hope y'all are doing all right. I hope you had a nice <clears throat> rest of the day on Easter after we saw you at church and I hope that this week is off to a good start too. Uh, I'm gonna start out with a prayer and then just hop right into a couple of thoughts that you can comment on and we can think about today. Um, but this is just kind of a uh, joyful week. So let's just try to share some ideas about how to keep that spirit of Easter going. But let us pray and uh, we'll get right at it. Let us pray. God, thank you for today. Uh, thank you for all of the signs of life around us and the different ways that we experience uh, new life and resurrection every day. Uh, not only on Easter Sunday, but every day of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yesterday, I <clears throat> sent out a, an email devotion to some of our students and I asked what it means to them that word new. Um, sorry, I woke up with a little bit of a more hoarse <laughs> throat today. I <clears throat> It was getting better yesterday, but maybe I talked too much. <laughs> um, but hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, what, what does it mean new to you? Because we talk about new life or... Uh, new things on, on Easter, that resurrection brings new things into our lives. <clears throat> new hope for the future, a new future at all. So what does that new mean to you? Sometimes it can mean really good things. You know, you, you're excited about new shoes, you put a new battery in your car, uh, you get a new job, you move to a new place. Sometimes those are scary things too though, that, that newness can be out of our comfort zone, it can be something that we don't quite expect, that we're uncertain about how it's going to turn out. Uh, so newness is is important because it means that whatever we're experiencing right now is not the only thing that we'll ever experience. But it can be a little daunting too. So how do we live into that new life? That's one thing I was thinking about early this week in these <clears throat> first several days and weeks of the season of Easter before we get into Pentecost. But another thing I was thinking about today is that uh, it's hard to, to build up to a holiday and then sort of have the letdown afterwards. So how do we continue to have that Easter joy throughout this whole season and not only have it on that first Sunday? We wear our best clothes. We have a family lunch afterwards. A lot of people were in town or they were out of town visiting family. So how do we keep the, the beauty and the joy and the excitement of that holiday throughout the whole season of Easter. That's something I'm thinking about today. We sang the psalm on Sunday. We chanted that um, <clears throat> this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How do we wake up and say that every day? <laughs> because the, the hope is that Easter helps us to realize that we can have joy in our lives each and every day. So how are the ways that we do that, even on days that don't feel so joyful and how do we get past the days that are are not as joyful um, and still have the same hope and faith that we might have on a day like Easter. So those are the things I'm thinking about today. What does newness mean to you? What does it feel like to have new life and resurrection on a regular day in your life? And then how do we continue to make some of those regular days just as full of joy and hope and faith as our Easter days? Those are some thoughts today. I look forward to any comments you have about that. Uh, and I'm going to go take a shower because my hair is crazy. But God bless you all. Let's pray and then we'll go about our days and see what God has in store for us for today. God, thank you for today. And thank you for this opportunity to continue to, to live faithfully with you. We ask that you fill us with Easter joy, Easter hope, Easter blessings. Not only during this season of Easter, but every day of our lives. And that the resurrection make a real difference in our lives each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope you all have a good day uh, and I'll see you again sometime this week. <laughs>